happy Friday, everybody. It is Friday, November 6th. Okay, let's, before we show that card, let's take a minute. So we said yesterday, we already noticed that every day is increasing by an hour and 10 minutes. Right? Do you agree, Mr. M? Yes. Okay, so before we turn it over, that's 70 minutes altogether if you were just counting minutes. The 60 plus 10 would be 70. Where do you see that? With the one hour and 10 minutes, if you add, made it all minutes, that would be 70 minutes, wouldn't okay. it? Okay, that's something good to keep I just thought of that. Wow, nice connection right there. So knowing what you know, by every day seems to be increasing by one hour or 70 minutes. What time do you think it's going to be today? One, two, three, four. It's going to be five something. And if you add an hour and 10 minutes to the four hours and 40 minutes, right? Because you've got four in a row that's one hour and 10 minutes. So that's, you said last week that was a pattern. So it would be another hour. It's going to be a, another hour and 10 minutes. And it's going to be five hours and 50 minutes. That's what I predict. So do you think the time is going to be 550? 550. Do you think it's going to be AM or PM? It's still going to be. A.M. It's still going to be in the morning. Why do you think it's still going to be A.M.? Because my mom makes me get up for school at 5.30. Okay. And it's still dark out and it's morning still. Is it completely dark or is there a little bit of light starting it's to It's a up? little bit. So there's a little light in this picture. So there might be a little more, I think, in that picture. Unless it's a cloudy day. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Are you right? Yes. Is he right? I agree with everything you just said. It's getting a little bit brighter. There are less stars in the sky. And it's increased. The time has increased by one hour and 10 minutes. Nice prediction. Good job, yes. Mr. M. Thank you. You awesome. sure you don't want my pumpkin? Um, I, You're my favorite teacher, Mrs. You are. Oh, thanks. No, we're not supposed to share. Come, Mister. You eat. You take that home and you eat it at home. All right. Okay. Uh oh, having some marker problems again. Is this the one you used to draw the pumpkin? I think so. Oh. But another student told me it was okay. Oh. One hour and ten minutes. And okay, so here we go again. We don't have to add up one hour and ten minutes, one hour, ten minutes, one hour, ten minutes, one hour, ten minutes, one hour, ten minutes. We only need to add the four hours and forty minutes to the one hour and ten minutes, right? Yes. So we're gonna say four hours. And 40 minutes. Are you doing that on your own today? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> to the, do you know what it means when something's easy for you, Mr. M? It's fun. Yeah. And it also means you understand it. Yes. I do. Good. Can I have an eraser? I'm um, sure. You're welcome. So here we go. We're going to add it up. Do you want, are you finished? Yep. You want to share? What do you, what do you think it is up? It is, I had the minutes first. Okay. They start on this side, the right. right. So it's 40 and 10 if you count by 10s, and I know my 10s, that's 50 minutes. Yep, I agree. Okay, and? And then I have the hours and four plus one, that's five. Five, five, 
Hours. Five hours. Good. So let me ask you this, Mr. M. Is there anything changing of units that we need to do? Are we up to a full hour yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Let me fill in our last chart. So let's talk about, we're going to keep, keep this word in our mind, this idea of elapsed time. The total elapsed time from Sunday, November 1st, all the way to Friday, November 6th, totals five hours and 50 minutes. So we just keep adding one for the hours, right? We keep adding 10 more minutes, and now we have 5.50 a.m. A.m. Yes. In the morning. That's the morning, yes. All right. Nice work today. Good prediction.